Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today we're excited to start off a new series titled Weekly News Flash. Now here we're going to be bringing up some of the most important news stories of a week. Today we're going to be starting off with week 8 to 14th May. And the story that we have is excavation at Harappan site of Raki Garhi by Archaeological Society of India. So basically, we're going to be looking at uh, you know news stories that are really important when it comes to uh, exams and stuff. So let's start off with this story. Now, the story of the excavation at the Indus Valley site of Raki Garhi was present in a lot of newspapers, especially the Hindu. Uh, on the 8th of May. Now, um, there are a lot of uh, facets to the story. The Hindu focuses on uh, the burial pits and DNA samples. However, there are other parts of the story as well from other newspapers. So let's look at the combined, uh, let's look at what's the gist of the story. The Archaeological Society of India, or ASI, recently announced that the excavations, which took took three months at the Harappan site of Raki Garhi, has been completed. The latest rounds have been completed at Hisar in Haryana, and it has revealed houses, lanes, and drainage systems. So these are some of the aspects of the Indus Valley civilization that's been pretty renowned all over the world. So, as always, when you have new ex excavations, you would have new, what would you call, new discoveries, and also new hypotheses. So that's why this news is pretty important. Now let's look at the site itself, Raki Garhi. Raki Garhi is in Haryana Hisar, and this is the site that's present there. Now, the name Raki Garhi is a collective name for two sites. The two sites are Raki Khas and Raki Shapur. So these two sites collectively are called Raki Garhi, and it's present in Hisar. And the site itself is located on the right bank of the Drishadwati. The, the, the Drishadwati is uh, a dried up river of the Saraswati River Basin, and that's where Rakigarhi is present. Rakigarhi is one of the five largest Harappan townships in the, sam in the subcontinent, that includes India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and the nearby countries. So this is one of the five largest townships. Now. The special thing about the site is that it consists of several interconnecting mounds scattered across a large region. Now, two of these mounds have found to be densely occupied, and there are seven mounds that have been excavated this week. There were discoveries of various stages of Harappan culture here, so it's found out that there are there were a lot of there were a lot of generations of people who used to live in this site, so therefore there were various stages of the, their culture being on display here. And because of that, Rakigarhi is a perfect example of a site that exhibits sequential development of the Indus culture. You now, sequential here means step-by-step -step development. So you have the pre-Harappan, then you have the mature Harappan, and then the late Harappan. So you can see all of these cultures on display here. So we did talk about Rakigarhi being one of the five largest townships from the Indus Valley civilization. So let's look at what are the five townships, which are considered the largest. Um, in India, you have Raki Garhi itself and Dolabira. These are the two, two of the five largest sites. And the other three sites are in Pakistan, and these are called Mohenjo-daro, Harappa itself, and Ganeriwala, Ganberiwala. Harappa was where it was first discovered, and that's why we call the Indus Valley Civilization as the Harappan Civilization. Now let's look at some recent findings in Raki Garhi. First of all, we have skeletal remains. So while excavating, the team found two women's skeletons at Mount Number 7, and these are estimated to be over 5,000 years old by using dating techniques. Moreover, you found we, uh, it, there was the um, presence of pots and other artifacts buried next to these bones. So the ASI released a statement saying that they found pots and other artifacts near the graves. So they uh, they consider it to be a part of burial rituals. Now, 
uh, in order to learn more about these uh, skeletons, the DNA samples were taken from them, and the results from these samples would be able to re could reveal information about the ancestry of these people as well as the eating habits of the time. Now, another important finding that we found that was found in Rakigarhi was signs of settlement. Now, uh, in the Indus Valley Civilization, you have various strata of society. You have commoners living in mud brick walls, elite settlements made out of burnt brick and mud brick walls, and then you have a possible middle rung society. Now, what we, what we found in Rakigarhi was an aristocratic settlement, which means that they were having burnt brick walls and mud walls, and this was found in the first excavations of Mount Number 3. Now, we do know that there are three levels of housing, but we do not know if these categories were made by community or occupation. So we do not know how they were sep how the elite was separated from the commoners, but we do know that there was a separation based on housing. Another important finding was artifacts. So there were a lot of artifacts found in the recent excavations. Now some of these artifacts were steatite seals, terracotta bangles, terracotta unbaked ceiling with relief of elephants and the Harappan script. Now these were, uh, you know, artifacts from the mature Harappan period. The Harappan script um, is uh, still an enigma because we haven't deciphered it yet. So most of the uh, literature that we know about the Harappan civilization comes from its contemporaries, such as the uh, uh, such as the Babylonians. Now, um, moreover, it's important to note that there were some ceilings discovered by the team from ASI, and they concluded that these seals were used to identify possession of things by groups of people. For example, um, let's say uh, you want to make sure like in recent days, like in contemporary society, you would have um, a logo for every artifact belonging to a particular company. So therefore, seals were used similarly in the Harappan times. Now, the word sealing itself refers to the imprints of a seal on surfaces. So that's what we refer to as a sealing. So since these sealings were discovered, we found out that they were used to identify possession. Now, last but not the least, we have jewelry units found in the site at Rakigarhi. Now, the jewelry that was discovered in three of the seven mounds were steatite beads, semi-precious stone beads, shells, a gate, carnelian artifacts, and fragments of copper and gold. But apart from the jewelry itself, we've also found out the possible remains of a 5,000-year-old jewelry-making unit. So they found out a structure and they consider it to be the possible remains of a jewelry making unit over 5,000 years old. And based on the assumption that this is a jewelry making unit, they imply that they say that trading was done from the city. So the city made uh, artifacts and commodities which were exported to other cities. Now, the area around Rakigarhi doesn't have any quarry of stones such as you know lapis lazuli shells etc so therefore uh, it was suggested by this fact that there was extensive trade found in Rakigarhi and the trade uh, extended as far away as Afghanistan where you have those stones so stones were imported from Afga Afghanistan fashioned into jewelry and then exported to the nearby cities now it's very important to note that the present round of excavations have completed, are completed, and the next session, the next field season, where excavations will be permitted, will begin by September 2022. So that concludes today's episode of Weekly News Flash. We hope you found it interesting. It's very interesting to see the latest uh, you know latest discoveries about the Indus Valley civilization one of the earliest civilizations on earth and if you want to learn more about other news stories then please subscribe to our channel brain blitz audios if you would like to get the latest updates from our channel then please don't forget to hit the bell icon pleasant below the vid present below the video so until the next episode take care stay safe bye bye for now